The following is a CT scan of the abdomen performed with intravenous neural contrast. As we scroll down from the base of the lungs, we can see a bunch of organs showing up over here. You can see the liver in the right upper quadrant, the spleen in the left upper quadrant. As we scroll more inferiorly, we can spot the adrenal glands on the right and on the left. We can see, start to see the pancreas. We can also start to see the kidneys. Both kidneys contain multiple cysts. And as we scroll down, we start to see asymmetric soft tissue thickening of the ascending colon. We'll scroll down a little bit more from there and see that as we go inferiorly, it becomes more circumferential in its appearance. This finding is highly worrisome for a colonic neoplasm. Within the adjacent mesentery, there are multiple lymph nodes. We can see one lymph node over here. We can see another several big lymph nodes over here. In radiology, any lymph node that measures more than one centimeter in its shortest axis or dimension is considered an abnormal lymph node. In addition, these lymph nodes look abnormal because they have loss of the normal fatty hilum associated with normal appearing lymph nodes. We can also see some of the vessels associated with this tumor. Starting at the top, we can see the celiac artery. We also see a portion of the distal portal vein. As you scroll inferiorly, we start to see the superior mesenteric artery as well as the superior mesenteric vein adjacent to it. On this image, we can see the right colic artery and vein. As we scroll more inferiorly, we can also see the iliocolic artery arising over here and soon after the right iliocolic vein draining into the supermesenteric vein. If we follow these vessels, you can see they course right to the region of this tumor. I'd like to now show you the same case but in the coronal plane of view. So as we scroll, we're going from anteriorly, we can start to see the anterior aspect of the patient's abdomen and we're going posteriorly. We can see the transverse colon in this image, the hepatic flexure over here, and as we go downward to the ascending colon we once again can see near circumferential soft tissue thickening of a focal segment of the ascending colon compatible with the suspected neoplasm. We can see the adjacent mesenteric adenopathy in the coronal plane of view. And we can also see the relationship of this tumor and the lymph nodes to the vessels that were mentioned previously. Namely, on this image, we can see the iliocolic artery and vein. And over here, we can see the right colic artery and vein. The middle colic artery and vein are more difficult to competently identify in these images, but we can see them coursing over here. Other organs that we can see on this coronal plane of view the liver in the right upper quadrant, the spleen in the left upper quadrant, the kidneys with multiple cysts seen in both kidneys, and the ureters arising from the kidneys going down to the bladder.